Hello everyone, I am Pratibha B. Nayak from Basveshwar Engineering College, Vitagiri Bagalkot. Today I would like to explain how to download and install Scilab software. Before discussing about the definition and the uses of Scilab, I would like to explain how to download and install Scilab software. First, we have to open the browser and then type the URL. So here is a URL for the Scilab. Click on it. Click on this website. So this is a download download page for Scilab. Click on the download. So if you are using Windows, then this uh, there are two links for the Windows Vista 7, 8, 10. Click on one of the link. So you can see here that our uh, the Scilab is getting downloaded. It takes like 8 to 10 minutes for the Scilab to get download. As I have already downloaded the Scilab, I'll just cancel it. So this is a setup file of Scilab. Double click on it. Okay. Next. I accept the agreement. Next. 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 And then install. So uh, like this, we can install the Scilab. And it takes like four to three minutes for the Scilab to get installed. Meanwhile, I would like to explain the definition and the uses of Scilab. What is Scilab? A Scilab is a free and open source cross-platform numerical computational package and a high-level numerically oriented programming language. So Scilab is basically a free and open source software where we can solve many numericals and it provides us a powerful environment for engineering and scientific applications. Here are some uses of Scilab. So Scilab is used as a calculator as we can easily perform different type of calculations like matrix and trigonometric calculations. We can also run many programs as we do in C and C++. We can store the values in variables, perform various mathematical operations. We can create a file to store commands, execute during the session in current working directory. We can define many complex numbers, calculate exponential trigonometric operations. These are the uses of Scilab. So the Scilab is getting installed. So the Scilab software has installed. Click on the finish. So the console appears when the Scilab gets installed. The console is where we write commands. And this is a variable browser. Whatever variables we take here, it will be displayed in the form of tabular. So this is how we can download and install Scilab. Thank you.